Okay, welcome. So today we're going to talk about one of the most important tenses in the English language. It is the past simple. So what is the past simple and why do we use it? So let's have a look. So we use the past simple to talk about actions that happened in the past and those actions are finished. We also use it to talk about habits or things that we used to do in the past that are also finished. Things that we don't do now, today. With the past simple, it's very important that we use things called time phrases. For example, yesterday, last year, or time phrases with when. For example, when I was a child, or when I was at school, that kind of thing. So for the past simple, common word order is uh, on the screen here. We've got subject. We've got the past simple form of the verb. Um, if it needs it, there's an object, and then we have a time phrase. A couple of examples here. I ate pizza yesterday. Uh, they went to London last year, and he played football when he was a child. With uh, past simple, there's uh, no shortcuts. Every time you learn a new verb, you need to learn the past simple form of that verb. You need to put some time in, memorize each one. Uh, there are regular verbs that end in ed when they're in the past simple, Then, and there are a lot of irregular verbs. A good idea is just to go through each one, um, one by one. When you learn the, the verb drink, you learn the past simple drink. When you learn the word play, you learn the past simple played. Now, with the negative form, of the past simple, there are a couple of things we need to think about. Uh, for most verbs, uh, we need to use the auxiliary verb or the helping verb didn't. If you have a look on the um, the, the screen there, we've got a, a word a sentence order plus didn't plus the base verb, the base form of the verb, uh, object if it's needed, and a time phrase. A couple of examples just down here. She didn't eat pizza yesterday. They didn't go to Paris last year, and he didn't play cricket when he was a child. So here we've got the didn't for the first example, didn't plus base verb eat. Please remember, the be verb is a very special verb, uh, so it's, a, it's, it's an exception. Uh, when we use the be verb in the past simple, we do not use didn't. Okay, so we use the past form the negative past form of the verb be. So it wasn't cold, they weren't happy, and another example there, why weren't you at school yesterday? So be verb is, is special, so we need to remember that. What about questions? Questions in the past simple. Questions in the past simple, we need to use the auxiliary verb did plus the, um, the base verb. So if you have a look at the word order here, a possible question word, usually WH, things like when, where, why, or things like how, um, how much. So we could have a question word plus did. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, this should be did. Uh, plus subject, plus the base verb. So, for example, in the um, in the examples here, what sport did you play when you were a child? Uh, remember, be is a very special verb, so of course it's an exception here. We do not need to use the the auxiliary verb did with be verbs in the past simple. There are a couple of examples here. Was the cake delicious? Where were you yesterday? Uh, was the movie exciting? So we just use a past form depending on the subject. Okay, so that's a very, very quick uh, rundown on uh, past simple, why we use it and how we use it. Uh, now test yourself, uh, find a language partner, uh, meet up with them,